Hey, this is Frank Yost, and this is another edition of the Wheel Estate Cam with Inman. You can follow me on Twitter, at Frankly Realty, and make sure to retweet this. And uh, my blog is blog.franklyrealty.com. We're not able to get in the car because today it's snowing, and I got stuck two days ago when we had only half an inch of snow. So it would not be safe to have the Wheel Estate Cam driving around in the snow. So today's concept is that I like to talk about is working too hard, so hard that you actually make less money. The, the tendency for agents is to take every deal possible and it's really hard to turn down a deal. And this, this, this advice, by the way, is not for people that are just starting off who might not have enough business. This is for the, the agents. There are actually agents out there that are doing pretty well and they're, they're busy. So when you're too busy, you actually turn down opportunities. I think the, the optimal, optimal level of busyness is to be at uh, 80 to 90% of sane capacity. When you work too hard, when you do this 100%, 110%, you leave too many opportunities, uh, you miss too many opportunities. For example, there might be a rental that you take on that you know you really shouldn't take on, you think it'll be easy, but haven't we learned that it's never as easy as it initially seems, that there's always 10 times more work involved? And then what? Uh, Two, one of two things happens. Your, your current customer base, so you have a you know, $2,000 commission rental, or you have a $400,000 house, which can produce you know, five to 10 times that amount. So one of two things happen. Either you, your performance is worse for, the other, uh, for your other clients, being brought down by this you know, lower rental, or you're missing out on opportunities to either farm and get, get new business in that price range that you wanna be in, or you're not able to see other opportunities as they might uh, as they might come in. You might not follow up on a on a lead as much because you're too busy. So my advice is to to turn down those deals, turn down problematic clients that are going to take you know five times the amount of uh, effort, um, but also turning down client uh, price points that are too low for you. Refer them out. It's really hard to turn them turn down business, but by turning down that business, you're going to put uh, you know, sanity back into your life, or you're going to be able to put back in a, a home in the price point that you want to be working in. So think of it as an investment in your future by, by turning down, turning down jobs. Uh, and also by not being overly busy, you actually have time to reflect and, and brainstorm. Um, oftentimes there's, there's not much time to just sit back and think, where do I want this business to go? And if you don't have that time, you're going to be missing out on a lot of opportunities and you're con you'll constantly be making the same amount of money. So my advice in order to break out is to take more time, be able to think more, see opportunities, and allocate 10 to 20% of your time to, to try to go after these, these much bigger game. So what, what do you guys think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Um, I think everyone agrees that firing bad clients is a good deal, but what do you think about turning down turning down deals at the wrong price point. Oh, another way to, to, to give yourself a raise uh, is to turn down deals or increase your price. Now, we're not supposed to talk much about commissions and stuff like that, but we can talk about increasing your price. Yeah, you can actually charge more. Um, so that's another way to, uh, to increase your, your bottom line at the end of the year. So retweet this. My uh, handle is at Frankly Realty, and you can follow me on blog.franklyrealty.com. Thanks a lot. Oh, leave your comments also on the, on the Inman page where they uh, post the last... 10 or so uh, wheel estate cams. And just for those of you that are a little bit spin deprived, we'll take you for a little bit of a spin out here so you can get a little bit, at least a little bit sick. All right, ciao.